Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quality Making for India. Myself Deepak Kumar Shamal. Welcome all of the subscribers and viewers. I hope you are watching the already uploaded videos for APA 653. We have already uploaded up to part 7. In, the, in those parts, we have completed APA 650 and up to chapter 8 APA 653. Part 8 consists chapter 9, Repair and Alternation of In-Service Tank. This is most important chapter. There are most of the uh, many things you have to remember. Many things you have to remember for open book and close book. Close book, some of the points I will tell you that you need to memorize. And for open book, you have to... Uh, you have to know where you have to find in open book if there is some question will come. So how to find from the open book exam for chapter 9. So part 8 will cover chapter 9 and rest of the chapter will cover in another one part. So by that we will complete APA 653 and APA 650. But still there are few more APA courses and ASME courses we have to cover later on but as i told from the beginning apa 650 and apa 653 if you read very uh, thoroughly and you make the notes and you watch all the videos uh, make each and every point where i have uh, identified practice with the books almost you will get 110 questions total how many questions as i told 170 questions so out of 170 questions, you will get 110 questions from APA 6, more than maybe more than 110 questions, 115, 120 like that questions. Only from APA 650 and 653. And those 110 to 120 questions consist both open book and closed book. So let's start APA 653 training course. This course will read about chapter 9. So section 9 or chapter 9, okay, tank repair and alternation. If you saw my previous slides, I already explained what do you mean by repair? What is minor repair? What is major repair? What is alternation? Okay, alternation, change of cell height, change of a new bottom, alternation. Okay, so those are called alternation and change of and major repair and minor repair. Do you remember the 12 inch rule? I hope you remember. If you didn't remember, please go to the previous slides and watch. Okay. What is major repair? What is minor repair? And what is alternations? So from section 9, you will expect, we can expect 12 to 15 questions. It includes both closed book and open book. So the basis of repair and alternations will be an APA 650 equivalence. Why he say like that? APA 653 and 650. 650 there is no repair and alternations. Okay. We are not doing any repair there. Because this is a newly construction tank. But for APA 653, when we are doing any repair or alternation, we have to con we have to consider the basic of APA 650, which is like a newly construction tank. Okay. And for that maybe <coughs> sorry <coughs> for that <coughs> for that maybe during a pa653 the rule the rules the requirements are more stringent than a pa650 okay it is equivalent to 650 or higher okay all repair work must be authorized by the authorized inspector or an engineer experienced in storage tanks so when we we do the inspection previous sections i am just asking about the previous chapters okay we do the inspection we found during inspection we found there is some problem which is not acceptable as per as ap653 and we have to go for a repair so when we go for a repair did you read about the reports what are the reports we need to do uh, uh, during inspection okay we already read in our previous chapters so during that report, we mentioned that a repair is needed. So that repair work 
must must be authorized okay this is a closed book question this must be authorized by a authorized inspector or an engineer okay in storage tank design before commencement of the work by a repair organization what is called a repair organization i have already told you okay there is a question 100% one question will come why uh, repair organization who we call a repair organization tak 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 there are three four um, uh, options and you have to choose it okay repair organization so authorization for alternation to storage tanks that comply with ap 650 may not be given without consulting with and approved by an engineer experience in storage tank design so this is important the authorized inspector will designate inspection hold points required during the repair or alternation sequence and minimum documentation to be submitted upon job completion so there is two questions okay well, first question repair work must be authorized by a authorized inspector or an engineer this is first question you have to make a note second question authorized inspector okay or engineer okay will designate inspection hold points the authorized inspector or an engineer okay they are the one who will only put the hold points he is the one who will mention the hold points not the repair organization the repair organization cannot put the hold points the hold points is only by the authorized inspector okay so this is another one close uh, close book question okay all proposed design work execution material welding procedures examinations and testing methods must be approved by the authorized inspector or by an engineer experienced in storage tech design so once the repair is uh, 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 accepted then it will it will be authorized by the authorized inspector and engineer once it is authorized then an itp will be made and based on that itp the hold point will be done by the authorized inspector only okay after making an itp and a hold point by the authorized inspector the authorized inspector only design work execution material welding procedure examination testing method all these to be approved by authorized inspector this can be made by the repair organization but approved by a authorized inspector question will come work execution metal exact sentence will come work execution material welding procedure examination and testing methods can be approved by a repair organization true or false cannot be it always to be approved by a authorized inspector it is a closed book question okay the authorized inspector or an engineer experienced in storage tank design shall approve all specified repair and alternation work at the designated hold points so hold point means if the inspector or engineer is not present at the work the work cannot started okay the inspection cannot started if there is a inspection point then during that inspection point the authorized inspector or engineer must be present there without their inspection the inspection cannot be accepted that is called hold point minimum thickness of replacement cell plate okay the minimum thickness of replacement cell plate material shall be calculated in accordance with the as built standard do you uh, remember uh, what i uh, taught you before few slides what is as built standard there is a question for as built standard construction code and as built standard okay just go to the previous slides and make it uh, uh, memorize again because these are the sure shot questions the thickness of the replacement cell plate shall not be less than the greater nominal thickness of any plate in the same course adjoining to the replacement plate except where the adjoining plate is a thickened insert plate so this is a close book question replacement of cell plate shall not be less than Uh, the greater nominal thickness again we are just repeating the same thing again and uh, corroded thickness nominal thickness design thickness okay do you remember that if you don't again go back to the previous slides and remember this because there is a sure shot question from this one so the thickness of replacement cell if i found there is a cell and i have to replace the cell okay and when i go, go to repair that cell the cell plate thickness shall not be less than the nominal thickness of the existing plate but 
there is an exclusion if there is a thickened thickened insert plate what is called a thickened insert plate again i taught you what is thickened insert plate more than 3 mm so if there is a thickened insert plate then it is excluded so this is the minimum thickness of the replacement cell plate so keep it in mind and uh, uh, this is a close book question usually come okay so minimum dimension of replacement plate when you replace the cell plate we are now just talking about the cell plates cell bottom roof will go like that okay we are doing a repair and alternation of cell plates so we are just um, reading about what are the requirements for the cell plates so what is the minimum dimension we already read about the uh, what are the thickness uh, minimum it is required who will approve it then what is the minimum dimension of replacement of cell plates what you will do you make a table and make it memorize write one by one Re watch the video again and again and make a note then only you can remember so what is saying the minimum dimension for replacement cell plate is 12 inch or 12 times the thickness of the replacement plate whichever is greater so when you are doing any replacement of cell plate the cell plate min minimum dimension these are very important words because in exam they usually confuse with minimum maximum equal okay so the minimum dimension for the replacement cell plate is 12 inch below 12 inch we cannot do or 12 times the thickness of the replacement plate let's say the plate thickness is 1.5 uh, inch so 0.5 multiplied by 12 is equal to 6 inch so it is telling whichever is greater so which is greater 12 inch greater so you have to go for 12 inch so that you have to remember okay the replacement plate may be circular oblong square with rounded corners always it should be rounded corners i have uh, uh, summarized here and i wrote here so that you can remember it very easily okay so uh, always the replacement uh, suppose this is a cell plate and i have to make a patch plate repair here i have to make a rounded corners okay the corner should be rounded it should be rounded corners okay no sharp corners are allowed where one or more entire cell plate or full height segment of cell plates are to be removed and replaced the minimum spacing requirement specified in 9.1 for vertical weld joint shall be maintained so <coughs> vertical weld requirement for patch plates in 9.1 we have already mentioned okay i will show you a figure uh, after that but when you replace the whole cell plate suppose this is a, this is part of the this is part of the cell plate okay let's say the cell plate is little bigger okay this is the cell plate and i have to replace a part of the area okay then the welding requirement for this part of the area and when i repair a, when i replace a full part of the cell plate the welding requirements are different that we will study in the next slide okay there is another one uh, important uh, open book question prior to welding the new vertical joint and the existing horizontal weld shall be cut for a minimum distance of 12 inch beyond the new vertical joint <coughs> these are the cells okay this is cell so for this one let's say i am going to cut a complete cell okay so that in that case it is telling the existing horizontal weld shall be cut for a minimum distance of 12 inch beyond the vertical joint so this is the vertical joint i have to cut this uh, uh, this uh, cell plate completely so when i cut this cell plate and replace this new cell plate i have to cut additional 12 inch on both the side that's what it is telling okay so vertical joint so beyond vertical joint i have to cut 12 inch both the side then i have to put the plate and i have to do welding all around from here to other side okay here 12 inch here 12 inch so i have to put the cell plate here first then i have to do welding uh, all the way like that okay so i have just highlighted the bullet points maximum size greater than 12 inch or 12t which is uh, maximum is no limit this is the one which we did it okay i have already explained to you corners corner must have rounded corner, rounded corners 6 inch or 60 whichever is greater this is in the next page okay the corners rounded corners as we told if there is a localized repair is there then the corners should be 6 inch or 60 whichever is greater okay 
do you remember for 650 it is 2 inch okay i hope you remember any joint which sell to bottom the shape must be tumstown shape tumstown shape i will tell you tumstown shape is like that okay we call it tumstown shape it looks type looks like tumstown okay if there is a nozzle and the reinforcing plate is looks like tumstown that's why it is called tumstown shape so any joint with cell to bottom when there is a cell to bottom this is cell plate let's say this is cell plate and this is bottom plate so any cell to bottom joint the shape must be tumstown shape we cannot make a like that shape okay vertical joints to be welded first so in this case in this case when i repair a cell plate com complete cell i have to remove and i put a new cell plate then what i have to do i have to do the vertical joint first then i have to continue with the horizontal welding so this is the requirement this two this two, these three points are in next slide okay so this diagram you need to remember okay figure 9.1 you will must have a close book question from figure 9.1 okay what is figure 9.1 i just uh, make enlarge this table okay if you see here in the diagram there are many uh, alphabets are mentioned r a b uh, h so this is our bottom plate this is one of the cell plate this is another one cell plate okay so if there is a patch plate come here in between both the cell plates and then then what will be the radius so r here it is written r if i'll go to r to check r r is 6 inch if t is less than 0.5 inch t is called what t is the thickness okay thickness of the cell plate t if it is less than 6 0.5 inch then r should be 6 inch and if t thickness of the replacement you see thickness of the replacement of cell plate is called t okay if t is more than 0.5 inch then r should be greater of 6 inch or 60 6 inch or 60 whichever is higher you have to choose it so in open book question like that r b h b a c all these questions will come okay if you see c usually important huh? this is for the um, if you see here c usually come for the critical length area if you remember this critical length area okay so usually in the question they ask c okay what is c must be greater of 3 inch or 5 t then uh, here you will see b okay b is tumstone bottom to the uh, the center of the radius how much it will be b b is 6 inch for t less than 0.5 inch and greater of 10 inch or 8 t when t is greater than 0.5 inch t is cell plate thickness okay so similarly if you see all these things are given say this is vertical joint okay so if there is a nozzle uh, there is opening here so from vertical joint to this distance is called h so how much the h will be h will be maximum 3 inch if t is less than 0.5 inch then h will be 3 inch and if it is more than 0.5 inch so it is greater of 10 inch or 80 why i show this diagram to you because you will get 100 percent one open book question from this one when they will ask in question be careful to understand whether he is asking in service inspection or newly construction tank okay for newly construction tank the requirement is different and for in service the requirement is different that's why you have to read the question very carefully so well done well joint design how you have to do the well joint design cell replacement plates will be welded with bot joints as we know very well all cell plates are usually bot welded okay roof plate roof plates may be bot welded may be lap welded okay bottom plates it is lap welded and angular ring is bot welded okay so for existing cell plates over half inch thick the outer edge of bot welding attaching the replacement cell plates shall be greater than at least the greater of eight times the weld thickness or 10 inch whatever written here okay all whatever written here the last slide which we saw this is the same thing written here so whatever given in the 
uh, figure 9.1 that was written here okay see figure 9.1 for minimum dimension so everything what we saw here it is coming here okay <clears throat> so nothing to be confused door seat installation this section describes the requirement for installation of replacement of door seat the requirement in figure 9.1 as i show you in figure 9.1 that's why i told you figure 9.1 is very important you have to see figure 9.1 and practice one or two times so that you will find all the uh, answers for this one okay <coughs> so this is same exactly same what is written in uh, what is showing in figure 9.1 that the same thing is written here okay so cell repair using lap welded patch plates i told you what is lap welded patch plates okay <coughs> let's say this is one plate another one pl plate is overlapping this one okay and then i have to do the welding this side i call it lap welded patch plates okay so lap patch self repair are acceptable from a repair of butt welded lap welded and riveted tank cell under the condition of 932 933 uh, and 934 when uh, specified by the owner and operator lap welding is only allowed by the owner and operator so we have to take prior permission from them so what are the requirements for the lap welding a repair material shall comply with the requirement of the current applicable standard or construction code lap patch plate repair shall not be used <coughs> on any cell course thickness that exceed half inch or not to replace door seat or cell plates if the cell thickness is more than half inch then lap joint is not allowed it is a closed book question you have to remember it okay second question the shape of the repair plate may be circular oblong square rectangular all corner except to the cell to bottom joint shall be rounded to a minimum radius of two joints any corner okay any corner except cell to bottom joints if there is any cell to bottom joints then we have to exclude it it is 60 something requirement all others shall be rounded with a minimum radius of 2 inch okay the repair plate may cross any butt welded vertical or horizontal cell seams that have been ground floss but must overlap a minimum of 6 inch beyond the cell cell seams that is called overlapping okay so if there is a repair plate uh, coming uh, in front of the butt welded vertical or horizontal uh, seam welds okay then what we have to do we have to make it ground plus and we have to overlap minimum 6 inch beyond the cell seams let's say this is a cell and i have a repair which is crossing this one then i have to make a repair addition to the crossing side for 6 inch this is open book questions usually it come in the question exam okay repair plate may extend to and intersect with the external cell to bottom joint if the vertical side intersect the tank bottom at 90 degree angle and cell to bottom weld is conformance with figure 9.6 we will see 9.6 okay Repair plates positioned at the cell uh, interior shall be located such that toe to toe weld clearance is minimum 6 inch to the cell to bottom weld. This is important. What is the minimum clearance required for toe to toe for cell to bottom welds? Okay, 6 inch. This is important. I have mentioned here. Okay, mentioned here. And maximum vertical and horizontal dimension of the repair plate is 48 inch and 72 inch. You have to remember, they are usually con confused with vertical and horizontal. Sometimes they give vertical 72, horizontal 48. So you have to remember vertical 48 and horizontal 72. Okay. This is the maximum dist uh, distance for the repair plate. Okay. Cell opening and their reinforcement shall not be positioned with a lapped patch cell repairs cell opening and their reinforcement the cell not be open for a position with a lap lap page is not allowed for cell opening and reinforcements okay so here i summarized it maximum repair plate dimension is 4 inch maximum 42 inch vertical and 72 inch horizontal is the repair plate dimension radius minimum is 2 inch that we read it in last uh, last slide horizontal and vertical minimum 6 inch it should cross okay for the uh, uh, nearby uh, some patch plate uh, uh, if it is coming then we have to do it 
crossing 6 inch okay and minimum plate thickness is 316 inch that is uh, the repair thickness okay the repair thickness minimum plate thickness is 316 inch so if you'll see here the welding shall be continuous on the outer perimeter of the repair plate and the inner perimeter of the hole in the cell plate the minimum hole diameter is 2 inch in the cell opening due to plate rimball cell have a minimum corner radius of 2 inch these are all the requirement of the uh, cell plate openings cell plate radius this all will come as a open book questions so you have to remember it this one you no need to remember because joint efficiency if you remember the space uh, uh, we have already read how to uh, uh, how we can find out the re the repair plate thickness selection shall be based on a design that confirms that the is built standard and APA 620 using a joint efficiency not exceeding 0 0.7 joint efficiency already we read it okay how we can find out the joint efficiency e if you remember e there is a formula okay we already uh, calculate those formula how we can find out the joint efficiency e so the minimum repair plate dimension shall be 4 inch in minimum overlap of 1 inch and maximum overlap of 8 times in the cell thickness 80 these are all open book questions the selection of repair plate thickness shall be based on a design that confirmed to the built standard of APA 653 using a joint efficiency not exceeding 0.35 this is again open book questions the repair plate thickness shall not exceed the cell plate thickness of the perimeter by uh, perimeter of the repair plate by more than one third but not more than one eight inch the repair plate thickness shall not, shall not exceed one half inch so already we have explained in the beginning more than half inch repair is not allowed so the repair plate thickness shall not exceed the cell plate thickness existing cell plate thickness it should not uh, exceed that one okay by more than one third but no more than one one eight inch the repair plate thickness this is the one yeah this is a open book questions 9343 usually it come in the uh, um, exam frequently it come the repair plate thickness shall not exceed the cell plate thickness at the perimeter of the repair plate by more than one third but no more than one eight inch in the exam they will give you a repair plate thickness and they will ask you whether it is allowed or not then you have to comment in the open book and to find out whether it come one third and not more than one eight inch if it is more than one third or uh, not more than 1 inch, then only you will allow for the cell plate repair okay alternation of tank cell to change cell height as I told you previous slides also and at the beginning of this chapter alternation means change of cell height okay or change of a new bottom we call it alternation so tank cell may be altered by adding new plate material to increase the height of the tank cell okay what is called repair or defective welds crack lack of fusion and rejectable slag and porosity that needs repair shall be removed completely by gaussing and the grinding of resulting activity uh, for welding and then rewelded it is called repair uh, of defective words okay there are few terms which you need to see this is not so important after uh, repair of all defects listed 9.7 are completed the repair area shall be examined in accordance with the requirement of 12.1.3 12.1.3 we will read in next slide uh, next chapter okay except the repair of undercut corrosion and surface defects of welds do not require radiography or ultrasonic examination this is not so important repair of cell penetrations okay how this table usually it came in uh, exam and it is very easy table to uh, find out what is the uh, uh, how much weld fillet size it is required okay t as i tell you what is t it is the cell thickness okay t small t is the cell thickness what is the cell plate thickness and the capital t is the combination of thickness of the reinforced reinforcing pad okay small t is the cell thickness t uh, capital t is the reinforcement reinforcement thickness okay t and t maximum how much 916 inch so a here it is mentioned a means nozzle to the reinforcing pad what will be the fillet size it is 14 inch and b b is the bottom plate to the reinforcing pad it is a thumb stone okay we call it thumb stone it looks like a thumb stone so during thumb stone whatever uh, uh, the welding requirement 
for the nozzle with the reinforcing pad and reinforcing pad to the bottom plate that table it is showing here this table is more important and always will get a open book question from this one it will show it will tell you the cell thickness is this much the reinforcing plate thickness is this much okay so how much the uh, nozzle to the reinforcing uh, plate uh, pellet size minimum will be that we can find out from this table okay this is one another one usually it came in the closed book exam you know when we are doing the welding we put some tell tell hole why we call tell tell hole tell tell hole because we told if there is any corrosion inside this uh, uh, tungsten reinforcing plate then this corrosion will show from this uh, drill holes so that's why we will we call it tell tell hole tell a tell you see tell means tell me a tell the story what is inside what is the story inside so that's why it called tell tell hole so this is a closed book questions one by uh, one quarter inch tell tell hole drill and tap for 18 inch pipe thread so one fourth inch tell tell hole is done okay then a 18 inch pipe thread need to be plugged neither the water will go inside okay we put a plug on the tell tell hole and when we come for the inspection we have to remove the thread to see if there is any corrosion if there is any leak in uh, beneath the reinforcing plate if there is any leak beneath the reinforcing plate when we open the thread then the corrosion can be seen and the, if there is any water or something it will come out so we can able to find out that the downside of the reinforcing plate there is some problem okay so this is a open book question you have to remember this the table okay addition or replacement of cell penetrations new cell penetration shall be in accordance to material design and stress relief requirements so what is here there are some of the open book questions okay so what is the open book questions cell thickness calculated by the equation already we have the t minimum equation we know this one of the standard except variable s shall be allowed designed from 650 table 5.2 the existing cell plate use 20000 pound foot per inch square if of this one uh, if you remember already we told uh, when we do the chapter 4 study we have already explained if it is unknown then the joint efficiency should be one it is open book questions usually sometimes they ask in the open book questions okay penetration larger than nps4 nps means nominal pipe size 4 inch shall be installed with the use of an insert plate or thickened insert plate more than 3 mm okay if the small cell plate thickness is greater than half inch the cell plate material does not meet the current design metal temperature okay this is not so important so you will get one question maybe open book from here okay alternation of existing cell penetrations there is one or two one question maybe they will ask you when installing a new tank bottom above the existing bottom it may be necessary to alter existing cell penetration in the bottom course of cell tank cells if the new bottom is slotted through the tank cell several inches above the existing bottom the spacing between the existing weld around the penetration and the new bottom cell may comply with 650 requirements do you understand what is saying if you are changing a bottom plate okay so this is my cell this is my bottom plate okay let's say i inspect the bottom plate and i found the bottom plate is damaged then i have to replace the bottom plate how i have to replace the bottom plate i have to fill up to certain height some concrete or something i have to fill it okay then i have to cut partial of the cell plate and insert a new bottom plate partially okay partially i have to remove all around cut the cell plate one by one not one time neither the cell will collapse partially i have to cut and insert one one bottom plate and i have to make a new bottom plate completely so the downside bottom plate which is corroded it is already beneath the concrete okay that's what it is saying alternation of existing cell penetrations if it is penetrated the cell is penetrated and there is a bottom plate is corroded then by this way we can change the new bottom it is not so important this is a important part general 
whatever I have highlighted here, you can read it because it will give you a good knowledge for that one to understand the next one. Okay. So repair of bottom tank bottoms. We are just reading about repair of tank cells. What are the requirement of tank cells? A page plate I am putting. What is the radius of the page plate? What is the thickness of the page plate? When the page plate is placed uh, near to the weld, how much uh, it should cross? So those are the requirement of the cell plates. So similarly for the tank bottoms, repair of tank bottoms. The minimum dimension for a welded on page plate that overlap the bottom seam or existing page is 12 inch. The welded page may be circular, oblong or polygon with rounded corners. Always there is rounded corners because sharp corners, what happen? The uh, always sharp, sharp corners make cracks or sharp, sharp, if this sharp corner, then the joint uh, integration or the welding will be not proper. So if it is rounded corner, then the stress level, okay, the welding can be very perfect. A welded, a welded on patch plate smaller than 12 inch diameter is permitted if it does not overlap the bottom seam. Bottom seam is you know when this is this is a tank bottom, okay, and tank bottoms we have several plates and as we know the tank bottom plates are usually lap welded, okay, it is not pot welded. Butt welding you can do it as per as APA 650 but butt welding it is very difficult to do uh, because it will be only happen from one side and the other side will be not properly penetrated so that's why they do a lap welding okay lap welding lap welded joints so lap welding joints if there is a repair more than 12 inch uh, and the lap welding is come that is permitted and if no lapping is come then less than 12 inch also permitted so here, this is a, a, a bottom plate repair. It is showing how we have to do it. Okay, and what are the requirement for this one? If a bottom plate, and this is the cell cell to bottom plates. If there is a patch plate is here, then minimum six inch should be there. Two inch radius will be there. Okay, and here a bottom plate is just passing here. So the minimum distance from here to another one patch plate should be two inch. So it is a must question for open book. So you will find one cell plate, one or two questions from cell plate, figures and some calculations, more than two, two, three questions and two, three questions from the bottom plate. It is for the open book. Okay. Open book, you will find the questions. Repair within the critical zone. Critical zone already I told you. This is cell plate. This is bottom plate. So from cell plate to three inch. Okay. Three inch. This is called critical zone. This critical zone is very important. Okay, maximum plate thickness for welded on patch plate within the critical zone is one four inch. So that is the maximum plate thickness it is allowed for one four inch and must meet the toughness requirement as per 650. Okay, you have to do the toughness requirements impact testing. Okay, when a welded on patch plate within six inch of the cell, the weld on patch plate shall be tombstone safe. If there is a patch plate. Uh, uh, welded within six inch of the cell, then it should be tombstone. We can, if, if it is like that, then we have to make the uh, patch plate with a tombstone shape. Okay. Pe <coughs> the side of the tombstone shape welded on patch plate shall intersect the cell to bottom joint approximately 90 degree. Perimeter welds on weld on patch plates with a critical zone shall be two pass minimum and examine by not a single pass welding is not allowed. So two pass welding we have to do it. Installation of a welded on patch plate by butt welding or to an adjacent existing patch is not permitted in the critical zone. Okay. Installation of welded on patch plate by butt welding is not permitted for the critical zone. Welded on patch plate over existing patches are not allowed in the critical zone. So these are the requirements. Usually it come and come in the open books. You have to read it one by one and you have to remember it. What are the limitations for the critical zone? Critical zone, as I told you, this is the most important area. Okay. The maximum dimension along the cell to welded down patch plate critical zone is 24. Okay. So these are the things we have to remember it. No welding or weld overlays are permitted within the critical zones except for the welding of widely scattered pits, pinos, cracks in the bottom walls or cell. If there is any uh, thickness less in the cell plate, okay, or bottom plate, let's say this is a bottom plate and here there is a thickness less in the bottom plate and it is coming within 3 inch range. So 3 inch means it is under critical 
area okay so critical zone area so critical zone area i want to do weld overlay weld overlay means depositing up a weld on the bottom plate to make the thickness proper so this is not allowed welded and patch plates are not permitted in the critical zone on a tank bottom with an operating temperature exceeding 200 degree per carbon steel and 100 degree f for the stainless steel this is a closed book question many times they ask in the exam okay critical zone 200 degree for cs and 100 degree f for ss replacement of tank bottom plates suitable non corrosive material cushion such as sand gravel and concrete shall be used between the old bottom and new bottom as i told you if i want to change a bottom plate so what i have to do in the bottom plate so this is cell to bottom so what i have to do i have to fill with sand gravel or concrete in the bottom area okay and that should be non corrosive if you will put corrosive material then it will damage the new bottom plate again voids in the foundation below the old bottom shall be filled with sand crushed limestone grout and concrete if there is any void or something that should be filled accordingly for floating roof tanks the new bottom profile must keep the roof level when it is resting on its supports if there is a floating roof then the rest usually floating roof is connected here and there is a connection done with the bottom plate so if it is done like that then the new bottom plate to be connected with the floating roof accordingly when removing the existing tank bottom the tank cell uh, separate from the tank bottom either by cutting the cell parallel to the tank bottom minimum half inch above the bottom to cell weld removing the entire cell to bottom attachment weld these are the requirements for when we are changing a bottom plate what are the requirement this is closed book questions okay The following shall be considered for tank with cathodic protection under uh, bottom leak detection. For tank having cathodic protection installed under the existing tank, consideration shall be given to removal of the entire bottom and unused dead cells to prevent shielding of CP current for the new bottoms. If there is cathodic protection already installed for the bottom plate, then that you need to remove it. And when you put a new bottom, the same facilities will be given. Usually, what happen when there is not any corrosive materials not the, when the tank bottom is usually not connected to the soil sometimes the cp system is avoided because there is no contact with the soil okay if there is a concrete complete concrete earlier it is with soil but when a new bottom was uh, made the new bottom was made with complete concrete so there will be no connection with the soil so the cp is avoided then we come for the roof so cell bottom and roof now repair for the roof so repair for the roof the roof uh, if the roof thickness is less than 0.1 inch thick it is shall be replaced the new roof seam shall be 316 inch thickness minimum this is a close book you have to remember because if you remember in apa 650 already i have explained what is the minimum thickness for the bottom cell and roof and here what is the minimum thickness for bottom cell and roof 653 just remember for 650 the minimum thickness for bottom is 6 mm cell plate is 5 mm and roof plate is 5 mm but for 653 it is the roof plate is 2.5 mm the cell plate is 2.5 mm and the bottom plate is 2.3 mm already we read it point you uh, know 09 inch for the bottom okay and for the roof uh, thickness less than 0.1 inch 0.1 inch means 0.2.5 mm okay hot taps hot tap there is a chapter okay the requirement given uh, here in cover the installation of radial hot tap connection of the existing in service tanks how we can do the hot taps nozzle shall be limited to minimum diameter of nps 4 hot taps means existing cell plate we are installing a nozzle by doing tapping okay the cell plate temperature shall be or at above the minimum cell design metal temperature for the entire hot tapping operations and hot tapping the hydrostatic tank cell stress shall be less than 7000 pound foot per square inch this is important okay hot tap is allowed when the maximum diameter is 4 inch and when the tank cell stress will be less than 7000 pound foot per square inch okay that we have to remember the minimum height of tank liquid above the hot tap location shall be 3 feet above the hot tapping hot tapping i can guarantee you you will get two questions 
from hot tapping what are the requirement of the hot tappings okay so minimum height of the tank liquid uh, above the hot tapping location should be three feet above the hot tappings if there is a cell the hot tapping is going on here by any nozzle or something then the uh, le le hot tapping at least three feet uh, during the hot, tap uh, hot tapping is happening the level should be three feet below okay welding shall be uh, done with low hydrogen electrodes only. Hot taps are not permitted on the roof of the tank with gas or vapor space in the tank. Okay, if it is like that, because hot tapping means it is a um, uh, temperature is there, so there is a chance of fire. That's why it is not uh, 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 it is not uh, recommended. Okay, hot taps will be installed on laminated or several uh, pitted cell plates. Okay, hot taps are not permitted on tanks where the heat of welding may cause environmental cracking, such as caustic cracking or stress cushion cracking. This is a table. Usually they ask hot tap connection size and cell plate thickness. Connection size less than six inch, less than or equal to six inch. NPS the minimum cell plate thickness is 316 inch. So this usually come in a open book questions okay what are the hot tap connection size and cell plate thickness okay hot tap procedure is also a question already we read it uh, when we start 653 uh, terms and definitions okay nomenclatures at that time we have already read fpa 2201 is the hot tap procedures preparatory work minimum spacing of any direction toe to toe weldings between hot tap and adjacent nozzle shall be equivalent to the square root of RT where R this is a calculation usually it come in the closed book questions okay hot tap minimum spacing toe to toe of the welding it is square root of RT square root of RT this is a closed book question it will come where R is the tank cell radius in inches and T is the cell plate thickness in inches okay they will give you r they will give you t just multiply and make the root uh, root over of both to find out the minimum spacing of any direction of toe to toe holding okay so that's all for apa 653 chapter 9 rest of the things we will read uh, in one more slide and by that we will complete apa 653 completely okay so i hope you are uh, getting uh, a proper guidance and knowledge from those videos you are making note of that if you didn't subscribe to this channel please do subscribe to this channel like the videos give comment on those videos so that we can do a discussion by this forum uh, many thanks friend for watching the video and thanks for your time have a good day